everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Back tonight for a hopefully much shorter video, maybe about 15 20 minutes. Good to do a quick little pour on two 12 by 12s. Um, the inspiration for it is a pour I did last night off camera. Sorry about that. Um, of this guy, you know what? Um, I will just put the camera down because it's still kind of wet and we're just going to get hop right to it. So hold on. So, how's that look? Whoa, almost knocked over a cup. Let me raise this up a little bit. No better? I'm having technical difficulties tonight. It's still, like, weird. Let me hit it down too far. Whoa. I have to uh, redo my selfie stick in the sand, I think. Close enough. We're going to rock with, we'll rock with that. There we go. Cook it for me, but straight for you. Um, so I did a pour last night with just blue, black, and white. And the same pouring recipe and a couple drops of silicone in the blue. And that's what I got, and I love it. It's gonna dry dark, but I'm hoping that the cells stay nice and bright and if it has a dark background, that actually might uh, work out okay. So um, let's see what happens. I want it to be much, have much, much more um, white than that guy. I definitely had too much of the blue and black and not enough white. So I made a giant cup of white and I'm adding a color. So I had the, um, the color blue is the Philocyan blue, the Liquitex soft body. I'm in love with this. Um, and then I killed off just a touch of Cobalt Teal number 337, Senlier. And then I just, you know, finally broke down and bought a big old thing of Artist Loft, um, regular black. And then a big giant cup of tea white that I've already started layering. I'm just gonna do a pour on these two. They don't have to be a diptych. I just need them to be weighted the same in terms of color, which means if one has predominantly blue black and the other one is predominantly white, then one of them is going to get redone. Um, so I just, they don't have to match, but I need the, the uh, balance of the colors to be somewhat equal. So that's the plan. Um, I'm actually going to add more white. I want like a lot, a lot of white with a little color sandwiched in. So... Pouring medium recipe is the same as last night. So 20 ounces, um, 13 of which were um, Elmer's glue wall, two ounces of Floetrol, and the rest water. And let's start with just a little bit of this blue. back just a little and just a little more white let's bury that blue and black cover it up thank you for a couple people who corrected me about the whereabouts of um, Elise Fournier. I thought she was Dutch because I could have sworn Anne Marie Ritterhoff said she was, and some of her videos say Netherlands underneath of them. So I went back and looked. I'm like, okay, I'm not totally crazy. I didn't bother to check her Facebook page though. So my apologies, Elise. Um, it looks like people want to do the live pour after 
the new year, the first Sunday in 2019. So mark your calendars, that's when we're gonna do it. And now let's do just a little bit of blue. Just a little. Just a little. And some of the light blue. More white. We'll do the white, blue, black, and white, and we'll be done. We have to cover it all up this time, but just most of it. There's the white. And let's see if this experiment works. A little bit of the blue. Just a little, a little of the black, do do do, do do do, do do do. <clears throat> it should be wrapping presents. That's what I really should be doing. But I uh, got out of it on a technicality by saying like, well this painting is a present. So I gotta make it before I wrap it. I don't know why I'm talking in this voice. It's my get out of jail card voice. <laughs> so silly. Oh my goodness. All right. There's that one. Do I have enough to squeeze out of here? Come on, white. I think this, this cup's gonna get chipped just a little bit. But, do I still have, do I have any white in here still? Oh, look at me, ha ha ha. I'm gonna kill that off too. And that actually kind of worked out kind of perfect. All right, I'm ready to rock and roll. Gloves. This will be my um, last video until after Christmas. I'll probably have time between Christmas and New Year's. As you know, I'll be home with Chloe, my daughter, and we'll be hanging out, and I'll get bored, and she'll wanna play with her friends, and you know. So, all right, that's an awful little lot of white. I don't know. So I'm going to set one aside. There's no need for me to um, have them side by side because I'm not going to try and match a pattern or anything. They're not going to be that close together on the wall. So they won't be right next to each other. I'm going to put him here. And we're just going to pour. We're just going to pour. I hope I added enough color. I probably chipped myself. Oh no. What if I chipped myself of color? It's entirely possible. <sighs> now last night I did it both ways. I gave a quick torch and then I torched afterwards. Now this went like this. Maybe a little more just to pop those bubbles right there in the white and swirl around. I'm worried that I don't have enough um, of the dark blue. It turned all light. I'm going to roll that right off. That was stupid. Well, maybe not. We'll see. Get this to marry up right there in the middle. And a 
Is that a glob? Or is that a shadow right there? I can't tell. It looks like there's a glob of white there. I don't know. We'll find out. It's freak. Doesn't look right though. Let's see. Yeah, see, that's just going to get pushed off, goober. That was a total goober move. That's all right. I can get my hands dirty right there. Move that corner. That thing's a glob of something, isn't it? It is. I don't know what that is. Are you getting you too? What are you? Oh, pretty pink though. Hmm. Weird. All right, carrying on. I hope I have enough paint. I hope I have enough paint. I hope, I hope, I hope I made enough paint. See, that was a glob of something because all the paint, it's like a oh, roadblock going around. What the hell? Is there something on my canvas? And I didn't see it? Weird. I'm telling you, I like this so much so far that if I don't have enough paint, I'm just gonna like make a little cup and pour it on this one side. Can you see? Am I like, okay. I think I like sold myself short just by a tiny, tiny bit. And I'm gonna go off the side, like right here, cause I don't like that. Me no likey, that's gonna go. I think, so let me bunch up these cells and help, you know, go ahead, go gang up on that part. Off you go and then come back. Because I didn't like that. Keep your shape. Fall in line. Be good soldiers. All right. How slow is this moving, right? Patience. I always get myself into this predicament, don't I? Like every time, there's one trouble corner, but me really happy with this. Really, really, really happy. And I love this. So what I think I'm gonna do, cause this is awesome and I don't mind that that has like white at the bottom. And if I have to get white at the bottom of the other one, then I'll just, you know, pour it on. 
So I think I'm gonna do is just take white. Or you know what, what's left in my cup? Hold on. Let me see, because it's just white. Right, I can like leave it. a big old dollop in here. Now look, I can get that line almost to match up or have it like fade off. And just let me take white. Oh, I'm out of white. Oh, crap. <gasps> There's got to be enough. I don't feel like making more just for this little itty bit. Right? We'll get this, we'll tell it to help it, help it come down. We'll put that right there. All right. We'll give that a little. Oh, for Pete's sakes. You know what, I'm just gonna set it to the side and I'm just probably gonna have to make white and I'm just gonna go right there and leave it because I don't wanna stretch it out anymore. I love that just the way it is and I love the white at the bottom. I think that's really, really pretty. So let's just put him to the side for a second and do the second one because that's gorgeous. If I do say so myself, that's where I really, really like that a lot. Right combination of uh, paint in my let me move stuff out of the way and of course I don't have any left in the squeeze bottle see I was all clever right using my squeeze bottle to put it in my cup and came back to bite me this is for somebody's bathroom and these are just a little 12 by 12 gallery wrap canvas, if in case I didn't say that. All right, so there's that one. That looks amazing. Yeah, even from like afar, I'm really happy with the composition. All right, so number two. Nowhere near as dark as the uh, inspiration piece. All right, cup number two. Same deal. down here get some white going let me wipe off my hands a second Just be a little similar, just a little similar. Just don't be totally different. That's all I ask. All right. I want to go side to side because I see a big old caterpillar and I want to stretch it out.
It's like my paint is broken right through here. Like it looks like little torn pieces of paper. Why? Why is this one like that and the other one was perfectly fine? I don't, I'm gonna hold that up so you guys can see it. But take a look at the light blue. Do you see that? It doesn't look like it's torn. That's, I'm gonna see it through, but then maybe I have to re-pour. And there's something in this one too. What was lumpy? Was it my flow dry? I strained it. I did pull out like a couple big strings from it. It was kind of gross. Like I forgot that about Floetrol, how it can be disgusting sometimes. Oh, I, want, I like those little cells. I'm gonna save them. Save me. Don't let me die. Yeah, you're saved. That's a Jenny Post trick. That's where I learned how to do that. The little squeeze thing with your with your uh, thumb in your hand. I saw her do that. There is some, some thing in this part right here where it is just ripping, like shredding it up. It doesn't want to move around this part right here. And I really don't feel anything there. But there must be, because the paint is like, yeah, roadblock. Can't go that way. Detour, everyone go around. See, I'm rushing out because, like, I'm I'm already mad at this painting. It's still doing it. What the? I'm sorry, guys. I'm like having something stringy is right there, and it's kind of a shame. Ex except for the giant, you know, you know what in the middle, which. Like this part here, and the, these cells, this is gorgeous. I love, love, love that. I have plenty of paint. How much time am I? It's, uh, well, so much for a 15 minute video. I think I'm going to, um, I'm gonna scrap this, scrape this one. I don't see the point of like carrying on when it's all like broken up right there. Or maybe I do, just for giggles. Just real quick. But the cells are getting a lot of shape and it's just, it's just all, no, why even bother? It's just like all ripped up right there. Just totally ripped up, which is a shame. Isn't this part really, really gorgeous? <gasps> it was so pretty. All right, I'm just gonna make a cup of white real quick. That's a shame, that's a lot of paint. That's kind of pretty right there, right? Sometimes I do that, and then I'll do this and come back down, just to see if I get something interesting. Do you guys do that too? Like, you know, just swirl it down and get a nice swirly pattern going. And be like, ooh, look at the pretty colors. And you do that. See, now I'm just in play mode. And you're like, ooh, so pretty. And then you're like, wow, it's a little bit muddy. Let me take off these gloves. 
But sometimes I'll do that like just to play at the end of the night. And then you like give it a torch just to see what would happen. And then it ends up looking like a swipe sometimes. But there's some there's something icky in this uh this batch. So um let me make white real quick. Shouldn't take me long. Where's my cup of white? My Blick Studio acrylic white. I just throw a big old cup of that. Got plenty of uh, boring medium left. All right, how about this? This is good. It's um, this is heavy body. It's gonna take me a minute to mix it, so I will just stop for a second, wipe this clean, mix my white, and uh, restart, and I'll splice them together. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, it turned out that my Blick Studio acrylic was the cause of the lumps. I guess it's an older jar and Murphy's Law says if you're going to have lumpy paint and you're trying to get, you know, paintings done, it'll be the only jar in the house. So um, I spent a lot of time just mixing it, mixing it, mixing it. Um, and I went ahead and mixed my colors again. Uh, so I'm ready to give this another go. So wish me luck. Uh, put white on my corners. Oh boy, let's just pour this around and see what we get this time. Lots of white, that's good. Just let it spread a little bit. It still looks like it's moving. Give it a torch. I'm not so sure if I'm gonna get the cells like I got on the last guy. But let's see if we get anything at all. Move it around and see. It can be, it can have a lot of white. That's okay. Little pops of blue. And go back and forth this way. Clean up there. Oh, it's, it's ripping again. Do you see that? Jesus. Pardon my French. I'm just really super, super annoyed. I don't know what is going on. Maybe it doesn't matter how well I mix it. As soon as it blends with the other um, paint, it's uh, it's no good. That look at that. You guys see that? I'm gonna post this, even though it's a total fail for this painting. Um, whack watch somebody like if I already posted somebody be like how'd you get it to do that that's so cool I like, know it's not cool at all because otherwise I would be happy with that design look at that like totally disintegrated. Little everywhere. I'm 
just... Wow. That would have been really pretty. Like, I just, you know, that's the other thing. Like, the, I love this composition. Love it. That, that's some BS right there going on, folks. I'm going to leave it, stare at it, post this video. I got one out of two, um, pretty much. Call it a night. That is, I'm going to stick my finger in it. Oops, I didn't want to drop. I'm going to stick my finger in it twice. <clears throat> I'm going to stick my finger and get that out and get this one out. It's broken. I don't know, let me zoom in so you can see it. Um, and the other guy, I'm grumpy. That's a grumpy pour, because I think that would have, I mean, that would have been gorgeous. It was exactly, the right amount of like the black, the blue, the light blue, the white, good balance, good composition, and geez, the weirdest thing ever. Check that out. Have you ever seen that? Does anything do that before like that? If you do and you know why it's caused, please let me know. Um, just Totally bizarre. Totally. Oops, I'm off camera. It did it. It just did it everywhere. This guy over here. He's fine. Where am I? He's looking great. No complaints. Really, really pretty. That's a keeper. Um, where am I? Where am I? What are you going to do? Uh, I have to go buy more white and try that one again. So until next time, um, I'll see you. I might sneak in one more just to finish this off. But if I don't and I run out of time, um, I'll see you after Christmas. So happy holidays and uh, take care, guys. Bye-bye.